We all know that a ride pattern is not this. Even though there are thousands of books that would make us think that it is. The ride pattern is like a bass line. It can be improvised. It can be used to phrase. And if you've obviously listened to any great players, any players at all who are, you know that that's how it's played. But the key here is the subdivision. Now I'm gonna play some subdivisions for you. All right, and we're starting with the quarter note. And I just wanna show you what you can do by having a technique that allows you to do this. That's the bottom line, all right? If I didn't have the technique, I wouldn't be able to play what I'm gonna play for you now. I'm gonna play three different time feels for you. And then I'm gonna ask you to explain what's behind them. All right, here's time feel number one, and I'll just play some simple comping figures along with it. Number two. Number three. Number one. Number two. Number three. Okay, what were the three time feels? What was number one? Okay, here's what happened. Number one, very even, right? All the notes very even. All right, number two, what's happened to it? What do your ears tell you? Nope. What happened to the skip beat? Yeah, it ghosted. It's a funk ride pattern. It's got a ghost note in it. All right? So we went from this. If I put it in a shuffle framework, even, and the third one, Now, to cut to the chase, the idea about this is, and this isn't something that, you know, Ed came up with. Ed came up with this by listening to players. Who's a drummer who plays, who can play, well, any good drummer can play down the middle of the time. With more or less a very even ride pattern, all right? Then, what kind of time feel does that imply? Behind the beat? on top of the beat, which one? Oh, okay. Let me do this. Which one was legato, number one or number two? Number one was legato. We all know what legato means. Long. Lots of air. Did you see the stroke? See my stick up here? Did you see my stroke up here with the second one? Staccato. Where does this come from? Oh, mercy. Here's the, the cruelest rule of all. You only play drum set as well as you play snare drum. All right, so. Did you hear a difference? Did you see a difference? That's what I'm doing on the ride cymbal, okay? 
Which one of those two ways was more controlled? Both. You want to see lot? This, in closing, is only time. This is lack of control. When you drop the stick. All right? So, in a nutshell, all of this, the ability to manipulate time fields, the, the ability to play tempos, the ability to play dynamics, which we didn't get to, is basically formulated by how you hold the stick, various types of fulcrums, and various type of stroke types. I hope you got something out of this. Thank you very much.